Hi folks, this is a DIY CNC spindle motor and dust tube and the customer's got these two brackets designed but he needs to machine them out of a single piece of material. Right now they're modeled and jointed in place. So how do we separate these on a pattern so that we can cut both of them out of one piece of material and one cam setup? Let's figure that out. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So it's a pretty cool part and assembly, and I, he did a great job modeling it. Um, this one stumped me. I had to think about this for a while. We've got these two separate things. We want to leave them in place because that's darn it, that's how the design works. I want to copy these. If I right click on top plate and choose copy, now when I go to the file name up here, I can right click, and there's two paste options. There's paste, and there's paste new. Paste will create a second version, a copy of this uh, top plate, but it's still linked back to the first one. So anything I do to the first one happens to this one. Whereas paste new just duplicates a new instance, then they're not related, they don't talk to each other, changes on one don't affect the other. So obviously we want paste. Uh, I'm gonna drag it over here so it's out of the way, click OK. Same thing with bottom plate. Copy. paste and I'll drag it here out of the way. So now check this out. This is really weird though. I noticed when I was practicing for this video that you can't use the move command. If I right click move and pick this it moves the original one which I don't want to do. So um, I'll mention this to the fusion folks because that seems buggy because what I can do is drag these around freehand. Um, so we need to get them lined up vertically uh, in the Z. So I'll revert back. Um, you can see they're way off here. J for joint, planar. I'll pick a spot, doesn't really matter on planar here and here. Um, that's flipped from what I want. So I'll check this little flip box here. And now you can see uh, the good news is they're coplanar. The bad news is they're stacked, but we'll fix that here in a second. Click OK. And so now I can. Oops, nope, I can't. When I drag one, they both move. So I'm going to rename top plate cut just so I can keep track of it. See, it's annoying. It could judge that to the first one. Oh, well, I guess I won't rename it. Regardless, I can right click on top plate here and say ground, which locks that top plate in place. And now if I pick the bottom plate. I can move it over. Notice that my stack here isn't changing. So now I can kind of get it lined up to what makes sense. We'll say right there. I'm going to actually ground my bottom plate as well. That way, um, oops, uh, ground and capture position. That way, neither one of them can move around, and I've got some stability to this cam setup. So that's really it. Check it out now. Go into cam. Some good tricks here as well, folks. New setup. Now this is really important. See how it's got four bodies in the model? It thinks we're trying to machine all four. We're not. So click the little X. I'll pick this guy and this guy. So now it just sees that there's the two. Stock. I'll do fixed size box. Um, we'll do 500, I don't think in millimeters, but that's okay. 500 by 500. So that makes sense. Maybe it's a big sheet like that. And click, let's see here, flip our x-axis, oops, no, let's flip our y. So z-axis is here, and the x-axis is here, and flip it. Everybody see that? I'll start over. So this is wrong. I want the x to be where the y is. So I'll go to select z-axis plane and x-axis. What's my z-axis? That face, actually already had it. What's my x-axis? It's this edge, or any edge that's like that, and that works. I've still got the two bodies, which is perfect. Click OK, and we'll do some 2D contours. 2D contour, just use a quarter inch end mill, about 6.3 millimeters, and one, two, three, oops, actually watch, I wanna be careful the order I pick in. Two, three, four, click OK. 
And boom, so, oops, I picked the top of the part. So let's edit and say the heights should be model bottom. That's gonna put the toolpath at the bottom, which is what you want. So now we can watch a simulation. Hit play. Now notice it's cutting the outside first. That's no good because our center is um, it, the part's going to be loose before it cuts the center. So I'll show you how we can fix that. Right click on 2D Contour, Edit, and under Passes, see this option, Preserve Order? If you let your mouse hover over that, you can see it says, specifies the features are machined in the order in which they were selected versus optimizing the cut order. So that should make it machine this interior pocket first. Boom. So the only problem is, it's a little bit of a quirk, but because uh, there's a breakthrough there, we can't control that cut order. So I would probably just do two separate 2D contours to make sure we do that one first. Uh, the last trick I wanted to show you guys is tabbing. It is amazing. Same, th same thing, right click, edit, under the second tab, tabs you can automatically add in tabs. So we'll say six mil tab every 200. That's too much, every 100. And look at that folks. It's gonna automatically update the toolpath to leave really small tabs. That way you can break your part away and, and you know file or sand them off later. Take, take a look at that. How amazing is that? The best part, you guys already know this is going to happen. Go back to model. Let's click this to see it's the top plate. So I'll activate it and let's say we want to change our dust tube diameter here. So I'll click on that and hit Q for press pull. And that's going to let me offset this face and let's say we come in more to, oops. Let's just say five, make it real small, and take a look. It automatically updated our, actually that's not gonna work because uh, our tool wouldn't fit in there. Let's try that again. Let's make it 25. Now this hole, this hole becomes smaller, that hole becomes smaller, and under cam, if I regen my tool path, Ooh, that's weird. I thought we'd be updated. I guess I have to re... I thought since I only... Um... Ooh, no kidding. That's definitely a glitch. Uh, well, I will report that in um, uh, because that's, uh, that's a good catch. It should fix itself um, for sure. Well, if I'm wrong, I'll post something in the comments, but it should fix itself. Anyways... That's the idea. That's the best I got, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you did, I appreciate the thumbs up and sharing this video and commenting. Otherwise, take care. See you next Friday.